So I'm going to share some pictures of some of the stuff that I've been working on or that's in my in my life. So tell me when you can see my screen. All right. Super. So this is a picture of me um, with my first milling machine. So we had an alumni day back at school and I was able to go back and visit my milling machine that I worked on almost uh, 20 years before. It's still there. Um, and it was a really good experience and it was kind of neat to see that it was still there. And then I just have a fun picture of me at work. <laughs> And uh, some of the work that I do in my organization is helping my company um, develop medical devices and um, I help provide them guidance on what things they need to comply with to be able to uh, create them safely. And I had a family member that had a procedure last week and in the procedure room was one of our pieces of equipment. So it was pretty cool to see our equipment, um, you know, being used for a family member um, outside of the lab and outside of work. I felt really confident as well that we were using that equipment. And then I have a really interesting picture here. Um, these pieces of equipment are tested to make sure they're not emitting any type of stray RF radiation. And um, this is an antenna and it's a room lined with foam and you would take this device, put it in the room, you would run it, and you would see if the antenna could pick up any stray radio frequency waves. You don't want stray waves because you'd have a whole bunch of different equipment in the room, and you don't want them to interact with each other, giving you bad readings. And I have a fun picture. We had a bring your kids to work day, <laughs> and this is a picture of my kids in the lab, and it's a similar type of lab like the other one, but this one um, catches a different type of radio frequency information. So it's kind of fun to see my kids in this room. It's like completely soundproof. So if I shut the door and they screamed in there, I wouldn't be able to hear them. So I could have <laughs> conversations. I could be outside the door and be real quiet. <laughs> so do you have any questions for me? I hear you're curious about something. Um, like what did you study or <laughs> so, so I study biomedical engineering, which is the science of um, combining engineering techniques to advance mm -hmm. the um, health of other people, to improve their health. So mm -hmm. I've got a combination of a biological background and a mechanical engineering background. That's so cool. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> and where did you study? <laughs> I went to WPI, which is Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Worcester, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I have a, um, like, what kind of data do you use? Like, I'm studying text mining, and I was wondering about, um, yeah, like data usage in, and how you apply it. So that's a great question. Um, in my past life, I ran a department that took complaints in from surgeons, doctors, and nurses on the products that we manufactured. Mm -hmm. And um, we would analyze those complaints to find out how many were coming in on a certain type of product, mm -hmm. uh, what types of complaints we were getting. Was the product shutting down during use? Was the product giving you wrong information? Um, and then how many complaints we were able to resolve successfully. So we would use all of that data and then we feed that information into something called a risk management profile mm -hmm. where we were able to calculate what is the performance rate of this device out in the field? Mm -hmm. How well does it perform? How often do you get this type of failure that it just completely shuts off? And when we start to plan on the next version, like the IntelliView, like version point five, how can we use that information to make the next one better so it doesn't shut off or it's waterproof or the colors are brighter or the alarms aren't as annoying, that type of thing. So are you saying that to keep on, even if you think, oh, you have a great, you know, invention or something going on. So how important is it to keep on exploring and to keep on finding, you know, new ways of how the science can be used? Absolutely. And to get that information directly from your customer, don't as the engineer assume that you know 
everything about the device. You need that feedback from people who are using it every day. I'm also something that sparked my interest when you were talking about actually seeing that product, that machine, you know, help somebody close to you and your family. So I'm just thinking like, what is the feeling you get? And why is that maybe that moment so important when you actually see all the STEM that you've been working on come to life and actually make, you know, a positive impact for someone in your community or in your family or... That's a great question. So I've actually worked at quite a few companies, uh, med dev companies, medical device companies, and um, it's interesting when I walk into um, a hospital room and I see like 90% of the items in the room are something that I've worked on. So that does make me feel really encouraged and um, proud that I'm in the industry and motivated to make sure that every single device I touch Every single report I write, every single Excel spreadsheet, every single piece of data I look at is correct because I know it goes into making these devices better. And, and in my opening, I said the objective is to have like the tricorder from Star Trek where you just like scan someone is like beep, 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 and you get the results. It's not invasive. I mean, that's where I want things to be. That's the goal. So I'm, I'm always going to be motivated to keep working to that. Yeah. And we also heard that you actually have different kinds of degrees and I would love to just like understand a bit more like what is so motivating and inspiring about actually combining different kinds of passions uh, in your life and in your work. That's a great question. So my undergraduate degree is in biomedical engineering where I did fun stuff like cutting Piece of, pieces of metal and making them into little engines. Um, but my graduate degree is actually in quality management, which is the science of um, producing reliable and consistent product. So um, in the beginning part of my career, I spent a lot of time out on the shop floor, tinkering with things and making things work. But I wanted to find out how we can make products better, faster, and with a high rate of good product coming out. Um, and, and the way things sometimes work in the medical device industry is if you make a device, it's going to be used on a person the next day. Like they're waiting for you to finish the product when it comes off the line and it gets handed to a sales rep and it goes into a hospital room the next morning. So um, that quality performance is so critical because people are literally waiting on these devices to improve the quality of their life. And what does it mean for you to combine these different passions in your career, let's say, like personally? Like? So I think it gave me a bigger perspective of how my degree, my undergraduate degree and my graduate degree can be used to open up more doors for me. So I'm not just limited in working on the shop floor, but I'm able to, right now, my role is I'm actually driving the long-term vision of the company to make it better and how we can do that. So it, I think it was a really good, good move to combine those two things and look towards the future. Great. Thank you so much.